Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your November 2015 monthly tarot reading. So right now I just want to take a second and thank everybody for all of their likes, their shares, their comments. You guys are truly amazing and I especially want to thank everybody who has shown their support for my new series here on my channel. As you know, I already offer the monthly, the general monthly tarot forecast, but now I have recently added the new weekly general forecast. Um, I did ask everybody to give me their feedback when it comes to these new weekly readings. Um, because they do take a lot of work and I you know I really wanted to know if it was something that you were finding helpful and honestly the feedback has just been truly amazing you guys have really um, you know went above and beyond to really reach out to me and let me know that you know you definitely are finding these new readings helpful it's something that you really you know you really are enjoying and and because of that I, I of course will continue on doing these weekly forecast so I really wanted to take a second and thank you you know for for all of your support with the new readings um, now if you are interested in a private reading um, I do have my website linked below this video so you definitely can click on my on my website and and head over there I do have a ton of information on my web page right now what I am offering is um, are two separate readings one is a 30 minute reading and the other is a is an hour reading what I do is I normally ask you to give me um, you know three questions for the 30 minute reading or six questions for the hour reading and then once your reading is finished I do email you the, the private link where only you can actually view your reading here on YouTube um, you know and and the link never does expire so you can save your your reading um, to go back and reference for as long as you'd like you can put it in a playlist or, or, or whatever and it's something that you'll always have. In the future, I do plan on offering Skype, live Skype readings. It's just not something that I have right now, but I am working towards that. Um, so yeah, so I just wanna thank everybody and, and wanted to let you know that I am available for private readings. So definitely head over to my site if you are interested. And I hope you have a great month of November. Hi Aquarius, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your November 2015 monthly tarot reading. So this is for Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising Signs. So Aquarius, let's get started. bottom of the deck I do have the Hierophant. So the Hierophant can be talking about traditional values, conforming, it can, the Hierophant can represent large companies, um, large government inst institutions um, such as churches, um, schools, hospitals, etc. Um, the Hierophant, the Hierophant can also represent like a lot of paperwork depending on the situation. Um, and the Hierophant also represents the sign of Taurus. So Aquarius, um, you know, a Taurus could be quite significant this month for you, or, um, maybe you have a lot of paperwork in regards to a certain situation or maybe conforming or you just work for a large company or traditional values could be of importance as well. All right. Or maybe really receiving some sort of, um, trusted guidance from some sort of maybe religious, um, or spiritual leader. That's, that's definitely a possibility as well. Aquarius. Okay, so what I have at the center of the reading, Aquarius, is the Eight of Swords, which the Eight of Swords is all about um, fears and anxieties, 
you know, um, holding us back. Um, this isn't a card where any of these swords are touching her. She's really just afraid to move on. Um, she's got too many fears, too many, too many fears and worries in her head that are really preventing her from really stepping out of, you know, this, this circle of swords around her, but literally she can just walk right out of it. Um, so I definitely, you know, this is how you're starting the month of November, Aquarius. I definitely don't want to see this card hinder you in any which way um, or prevent you from moving forward. Now, what I have crossing the Eight of Swords, which this is either helping or hindering you, and I definitely feel as though it's, it's helping you, you have the High Priestess. So the High Priestess is all about our intuition, all about our inner knowing, and also about our spirituality. So I feel as though, you know, um, if you have any sort of fears and anxieties, I feel like your intuition is really going to guide you out of this in the month of no November. And especially in the beginning of November, whatever situation this is, Aquarius, I would say strongly depend upon your intuition. Let your intuition guide you. Um, look within. That, that's definitely going to help you, Aquarius. Um, the, the High Priestess can also represent um, mysteries and secrets things you know that aren't known yet so maybe some things actually come out into the open as well for some Aquariuses this is a you know general reading so that probably will not be for everybody but you know that is always a possibility I definitely see this as a very temporary position um, because of the rest of the cards that you have here Aquarius are, are really are really nice um, so, but definitely rely upon your spirituality and your in, and your intuition, um, especially in the beginning of the month. But use your intuition throughout the entire month. I think it's going to be um, uh, very significant this month of no November. Now, what I have at your foundation is actually the Four of Cups, which the Four of Cups can be a card that talks about um, feeling flat or... Um, emotionally uninspired. So if you're single and not in a relationship, that would definitely, you know, make a lot of sense. Um, you know, y you don't really have much going on emotionally. You know, there could be a very bored or um, nonchalant energy, uh, you know, around. But also... Um, you know, if you are coupled, this this is just basically saying, you know, that the relationship isn't as exciting as it used to be. It's not necessarily a bad card. It really just, just represents that really nothing is wrong. It's just emotionally you're a little uninspired. Um, yeah. Um, Yeah, I definitely feel, I want to go back to the center card for a second, because the higher font can be, a, you know, it, it can be a, re, a religious figure or a trusted spiritual advisor. I definitely feel if you get the chance, Aquarius, to maybe speak with someone about something in your life or maybe something that's on your mind that you're worrying about, definitely do that because, you know, both of these cards, the Hierophant and the High Priestess are extremely spiritual and I just, you know, I really wanted to put that out there. If you get the chance to um, speak with someone or get some sort of guidance or, or, or even just get something off your chest, definitely do that, okay? I just, you know, that did come to me and I really wanted to put that out there. Now, Aquarius, what I have in the recent past is the Six of Swords. So the recent past, I see you moving. Um, the Six of Swords for me is, is a nice card. It, it represents movement. It's moving forward. Traditionally, this is known as, you know, moving out of stormy waters into much calmer waters. Um, I actually really do like this card. It's always moving from a place or a situation to a much more positive place. It's always movement for the better. So I definitely see, you know, some sort of movement moving forward in your recent past. 
Now what's crowning you and on your mind is actually the lover's card. So, you know, for those Aquariuses that are in a relationship, I would say, you know, your relationship is definitely on your mind. This is a very um, a strong bond that you have with another person, a very deep um, connection, a deep chemistry that you might share um, with the other person. For those of you that are in a relationship, you might want to be in a relationship. You're thinking about love. You're thinking about maybe a particular person even that you want to be in a relationship with. Um, there, you know, there are some Aquariuses that literally could have just met someone um, or you're going to meet someone this month um, and maybe you're thinking about the person a lot. Um, and, and then for other Aquariuses, the Lover's card can also represent a head or a heart decision. So I feel as though for some Aquariuses, this is definitely a decision that's weighing on your mind. That could be, you know, why you have this Eight of Swords card coming up at the center because, you know, you're maybe conflicted. You, you know, are really weighing the situation uh, but between your head and your heart. You're trying to be, you know, logical, but then you're, you know, trying to see how you feel about it and, 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 you know, let your heart guide you and you're really maybe conflicted about the whole situation and you're trying to maybe make a decision. That's definitely a possibility. Maybe that's why you have the higher font here. This could be talking about a marriage for some of Aquariuses. The, the higher font also represents marriage. So, you know, for some Aquariuses, this is definitely a marriage situation that, you know, you're conflicted about. Maybe you have to make a decision. You may be scared to move forward. You have fears and anxieties maybe holding you back. Um, the answer to your the answer to this situation though is to look within. I'll tell you that right now. You need to look at your inner knowing. You really need to base this off of your your feelings, not really your emotions, but your your emotions to a certain extent. You have to look within and let your you know. Uh, your intuition guide you. Um, I, I feel as though that's really the answer with this situation. Um, for other Aquariuses, if you're not married, this literally could be a decision that you have to make. This could be a decision that's on your mind. I do see news coming in, Aquarius. This is news coming in around the second week. This is in the near future, and it's around the second week of November. So this is good news. This is news um, that, you know, on an emotional level, it's going to make you quite fulfilled. It's going to make you very happy, very content. It's going to warm your heart. This is definitely some sort of good news. Um, for others, this can be a new beginning. Pages represent new beginnings. And that's why I said, you know, for some Aquariuses, you could be meeting someone. Um, I have the Page of Cups here, which can stand for new beginnings. You do have the lover's card here, and you know, for a very small percentage of Aquarius out there, this can actually be someone that you're going to marry because we have the Hierophant here as well. Um, so what I have as your power in this situation is I really feel like, you know, you've come a long way, Aquarius. This is you um, being emotionally balanced. This card represents emotional balance. And Temperance is just a lovely card. When I see it in a spread, I do know that you are being divinely guided. You have angels and spirit guides around you helping you, um, guide you along your path. Um, this card represents healing as well. So, you know, if you've gone through any sort of difficulties, this is definitely some sort of healing that's, that's going to be occurring, coming in. And I, I definitely see you emotionally balanced, which is very, very nice, Aquarius. Now, what I have in your external, and this is also how people view you, is you have the six, six of pentacles. So financially, you're looking very good. Um, you have financial abundance. You're actually doing quite well. You're doing so well that you're able to actually be generous with those around you who actually do need it. And because this is how people view you, um, I really feel as though you're actually going to be quite generous. Um, I want to say second, third week of November, Aquarius, this is really um, 
a card that represents giving and receiving and it, it's all about generosity and because people view you like this they view you as maybe being well off they view you as maybe being quite generous um, um, it's actually just a very nice card someone could come to you they actually might need um, your help with the situation and you might be extremely generous with that person um, and this would be around the third week um, now what I have in your hopes and fears is the nine of cups this is what you're hoping for Aquarius so the nine of cups is all about being you know just absolutely emotionally fulfilled your cups runneth over you're extremely happy this is all about having emotional abundance and the nine of cups is also um, a wish that could be coming true this is known as the wish card so you could be hoping that a wish comes true Aquarius um, and you very well might be getting it if you're wishing for maybe a relationship this could definitely be the month that a relationship is coming in for you um, now what we're we're leaving the month of November with and going into December this is your final outcome and it is the two of wands so this is this is all about you know holding the world in your hands looking out um, upon the horizon and really making a decision looking out at you know two different paths that really you have um, right in front of you and really choosing which direction you'd like to go in um, this is you know all about setting out on your path so you know if you did meet someone or you are you know faced with some sort of decision that you have to make I definitely see you by the end of November you know making a decision choosing which path or choosing which direction you would like to go in um, and um, other than that Aquarius I see you know it's a very nice month you could have a wish that actually comes true I definitely see some sort of communication news or new beginning um, coming in around the second week it's something that's going to you know make you just um, very happy and emotionally fulfilled all right I was shuffling you an additional guidance card um, but while I was shuffling and talking, this card actually popped out. So I am going to take it, Aquarius. Um, I find these cards to be the most significant. And you have protection. You, your loved ones, and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. Beautiful, beautiful card, Aquarius. Your prayers, which you've asked for safety and protection, have been heard and answered. Any attacks or threats are now a thing of the past, washed away with the tide of heavenly love. This love is clearing away your insecurities so that you can feel totally secure. When you ask heaven to watch over your loved ones, your home, and your possessions, your prayers are instantly answered. There's no hesitation or delay on heaven's part. It's done as soon as you ask. Your energies now can be directed in a meaningful and creative way. With your mind clear of worries, enjoy your days. Very, very, very beautiful, Aquarius. And, you know, it does really resonate with the rest of your reading. You had started out with the Eight of Swords, which is all about worries. If you were worried at all about, you know, you, your loved ones, your home, your possessions, or anything like that, here you go. You just got the angels speaking to you directly, telling you that there's no, there's no more need to worry about any of those things, that you are definitely protected, Aquarius. So truly um, just an amazing reading, an amazing month, Aquarius. Um, I do hope you enjoyed this reading, and I just wish you a great month. Take care.